Welcome to my channel, Blakester the Beast. My name is Blake, and today we are going to be showing the right way of how to use Minecraft in VR on the Oculus Quest 2 in the right way. You can be able to play this in any VR headset. I think the Oculus Quest 1 and the Oculus Quest 2. I think Steam VR, I'm not really totally for sure, but I know on the Oculus Quest 1 and the Oculus Quest 2. Well, I know most people don't show you how to set this up in the right way. And it took me days to figure this out with, oh man, I was getting frustrated, angry, and everything else and stuff until we finally figured it out and got everything going and stuff. And after you get it all set up, it's basically just easy as it can be. And, um, and I just want to say, welcome to my channel, Blakester the Beast and all. And I've noticed about my subscribers are starting to fall now. And it'd be nice to have more subscribers coming because I'm fixing to be uh, working on a shed out in the backyard of my home. And I'm going to be moving out in my shed because it's going to be called VR Arcade Studio where I can be able to live stream, make videos and everything and stuff for y'all guys because this is all about y'all because I'm having newer equipment fixing to be coming in from the Yao 2 Shockwave hectic suit and stuff, so the new smell o vision and everything, and oh yeah, I got many more stuff coming and all. So, the, uh, the Minecraft in VR, well, everybody knows now that you can play this on the Java version, and all you gotta buy the game first, it's gotta be, say, Java Edition, and then from there, then you gotta do all kinds of stuff and all and I'll leave all the links down description down below and everything but yes this is actually pretty fun and all now I know Minecraft is not for everybody but we are going to dive in and show how to do everything enjoy okay well this is what you need all right you'll need to come over here and extract both of these to your computer which we already have you got to have the app debug apk extract at dot zip you gotta have this all right so we already did that okay so now what you'll do is come over to your downloads and which mine is okay app debug apk we're going to go ahead and bring this to your desktop There's that, this, and Android. Oh, well, that don't really matter. We'll close that out. Okay, so we're just gonna use this and this, and then I will bring the Android in the other way, and I'll show y'all how to do that. Okay, so close out of that. What you will need, you'll need to open up SideQuest. Make sure you put your Oculus Link inside your Oculus Quest 2. And then go inside your Oculus Quest 2 and press the Allow button. And keep your link cable still in. Okay? You'll need that. And then you'll need... Okay, let me bring it up. Okay, you'll need your Oculus Quest or your Oculus app on your phone. You'll go to menu, go to devices, Mine's going to be the Quest 2. Okay. All right. It's all connected. And now you come to... Let's see, go to settings, 
Or actually, no, that's not right. There we go. Go to right here, developer mode, and turn your developer mode on. Okay. So, we are done there now. Okay, so now, come back to your side quest and you will see the green light has turned on. So you'll come over here to this little arrow. All right, go, oh yeah, let's go first before we do that. Minimize that. Come to app debug, okay. Okay, let's see if I'm doing this right. Okay, so downloads. Let's put all that back in here. Okay. Downloads. They wait till it say all tasks completed. It said that. Okay. Now then, go back. Go to downloads, extract. All right. All tasks completed, so everything is good to go. All right. So now what we're going to do now is go to your um, Oculus Quest 2. Come to International Shared or Internal Shared Storage. All right. You're going to place your old Android with the new one. So what we're going to do, go to Downloads. Go to Android. All right, and this thing will pop up and press yes. Yes. Uh, wait a second. Okay, delete that. All right. Now then, we can go to Android. There we go. It might take a little bit. One eternity later. All right, well that is now placed. All right, so now then, all that is done, so. Okay, so now what we'll need is to bring our Oculus Quest 2. All right, go ahead and take the link cable out. All right. And now then, Okay, so now you'll come down here. All right, you'll come all the way, unknown sources, and this will pop up. So click on that. Okay, now what you're gonna do is keep, press this thing. This is what most people don't show you. You're gonna keep me logged in. 
All right. Microsoft logged in. Okay, that is on there. Okay. So now, what we're going to do now is show you how to get Fabric Loader on there. Okay. So this is how you get Fabric Loader installed. Come down here. We press download. All right. Do not download this universal jar. Download for Windows. All right. There we go. Which we already did that. So now, open your folder. Go back to. Okay, I'm in my local C. Okay. Go to Fabric Installer. All right. And then all you got to do is just get the latest version, which is 1.18.2, then press install. All right. Then you're done right there. Okay. So now we are going to jump into the game. All right. So after that, you just sign into your Microsoft account. Keep me, press that button to keep me logged in. And this is what happens. You come over here. Go to settings. Okay, press back. All right. Go to settings. Video redender. Go to right there. Press your third option. All right. Come down here. If it's all the way up, go all the way down and press fabric loader 1.18, which I've got 0.1. So they're, I think their new upgrade now is a 0.2. So you do that and then you just come over here and you press play. Just remember, or I'll, I'll get on that the, the last part. All right, just press play. Ignore this option. Play anyway. And it will take a while. Strike work, Squidward. We got our jobs back. Forever. 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 One eternity later. All right. We are in Minecraft. So come over here to options. Go to video settings. All right. The Redender is six for the oculus quest 2 and i think the redender for the oculus quest 1 is five if i'm not mistaken all right so press done okay press done go to single player new world And we are in Minecraft in VR on the Oculus Quest 2. All right. So you just basically do whatever you want. <laughs> I just like cutting things. 
I'm going to try to find the water. Uh, birds. Hey, there's a deer. Here, Mr. Pig. Oh, sorry. Okay. Hey, Moo Cow. <laughs> he got mad. Oh, people. Hello. I'm going to knock you off in the water. <laughs> oh, now that looks cool. What is that over there? Oh, that's a volcano or lava. That's pretty cool. All right, well, I think we're going to jump into the outro. Okay, so what do I think about um, the Oculus Quest 2 with Minecraft in VR? Is it pretty cool? Absolutely. So what do you need to do and all? Is you got to buy the game first the Java edition game and I'll leave all the links down the description down to below where you find all this and also is it pretty cool now that you could play the Minecraft in VR on the Quest 2 and the Quest 1 and I think Steam VR if I'm not mistaken and all but yes this is actually pretty cool and also hey give the developers more time and everything eventually minecraft will come to vr in full detail which would be pretty cool you know but yeah hey it took a lot of time it i got frustrated left and right of knowing how to set this up in the right way because nobody shows you how to set anything up and everything they never show you to keep me logged in after you sign up for your microsoft account they didn't show how to set fabric loader and everything so now you see how to do that how to set up minecraft and vr the right way on the oculus quest 2 and all i mean yes it was hard work it was complicating <laughs> so it was a lot of fun at the end i really enjoyed the results at the end and everything so but like i said we are fixing to be in the process of building my own vr arcade studio and I'm going to be living out there, and we're going to have a lot of RGB lighting and stuff, more LED lights. I already got all kinds of stuff coming in and everything. The Yao 2 is going to go out in my VR arcade and stuff, and I'm going to be doing a lot of games, a lot of live streams, videos, and everything. So I want to try to build up a small community and everything, which would be a lot of fun and stuff. So if you like this video, please hit the like button. Dislike the video. If you dislike the video, notify me on the bell. Hit the subscribe channel and help my channel grow. Please, please help my channel grow. Please, I need all the subscribers I can get because this is what I love doing for y'all guys and everything because this is all about y'all and all. So until next time, I will see you in the next one. See ya.